Hi, howdy. Ooh, it's been a couple weeks. Um, I uploaded my first video a couple weeks ago and it was a haul from Goodwill and Salvation Army. Today, I am here with a week of my sales. So it's not really um, consistent <laughs> scheduling yet. However, I am working on that. My name is Marie. I am a, I don't know how I wanna put this. <laughs> I've been a reseller for like 10 years. I started out on eBay. And then a few years ago, I got into Poshmark. Um, I was like in middle school, high school when I started reselling and I've been part-time reselling um, for probably the last two years. So right now I wouldn't consider myself full-time. Um, part-time, yeah, because I'm not necessarily working at least 40 hours right now. I would hope to build it up as my business keeps growing. Other than that, I am on Instagram at Revitalist Thrift, eBay at Copper's Finds because Copper is my corgi and I really hope to show him at some point. Um, Poshmark at Revitalist and Mercari I think is the same thing. However, I don't really use it that often. So I'm going to go over November 29th, which is a Sunday. So I would do my sales from Sunday to Saturday, November 29th to December 5th sales. And this covers about a little less than $1,300. My gross amount for November 29th to December 5th was $1,294.34. And I sold 34 items across the three platforms. And that gives me an average sale price of about $38.07. In the next six months, I'd like to bump up that sale price to about $50. So we're going to work towards that. Um, majority of the items were sold through eBay. Um, I had a handful on Poshmark and I'm not like super active on there and I don't really have like, I have maybe like 50,000 followers, but, um, I'm not the best at that. And then I had one sale on Mercari. So we're going to get into this starting on November 29th, the Sunday. Okay. Voila. So the first sale was a Loren Ralph Loren size 10 black blazer which um had a crest like an emblem on its breast which i have sold a couple of these and they usually sell super fast and for a decent amount this one sold for 46 dollars and 31 cents on ebay um we're just gonna go through ebay as a whole and then i'll do poshmark after so that was um what i expected i <sighs> I don't remember where I found this, but I think I paid like maybe like five, six bucks for it, honestly. The next sale was a vintage Michigan Wolverines. So University of Michigan, the team Wolverines. Um, a lot of people are big football fans. Uh, I am a student there, so I'm, <laughs> I went to one game and I was done after that. It was not great. Anyways, um, size 2XL pullover. It was like a windbreaker style from the brand Pro Edge. Um, I think I only paid $10 for this, and I sold it for $46.31. The next sale was to another person in Michigan, and this was actually a really nice lady who um, was familiar with the brand already, and it was just a really good interaction um, helping her. So I sold to her two Hilo Hattie dresses. Now, Hilo Hattie is a Hawaiian brand that is known for making mumus. Majority of them are 100% cotton, um, some are polyester. I sold her a, what I believe, um, a 100% cotton, a floral hibiscus, like very colorful mumu. And then I sold her a polyester mumu. And out of that, $63.96. Mumus do super well for me on eBay. Um, I usually clear them out within like a week or two. Um, honestly, the larger the size in mumus, the better. I always feel like plus sizes do super well with them. And I probably only paid maybe like five, six dollars. I picked those up specifically in like a whole batch of like Captains and Moomoo's and that was a really good day because the Goodwill that um, I bought them at usually marks things up ridiculously high and they had no idea. Um, okay, the next sale was a vintage Delta Burke size 2X tiger print nightgown. I wasn't... Um, I'm sure if it was like a captain but captain's um 
had very specific sleeves and this just looked like a nightgown to me. I was surprised I had any interest. Um, I sold it for $28.48. I probably only paid a couple dollars for it because the Goodwill worker marked it as um, just pajamas. So that was a good sale. And then next up we have a Horny Toad, which is now branded as Toad & Co. Extra large women's, um, I wasn't sure the style on this, but it was like a full zip colored sweater. I sold this for $23. Ooh, next up is a really good sale. It's a great sale. It is a Samuel Dong small black full ruched, almost quilted like button jacket. Um, when I found this, I was going back and forth about like whether or not it was worth paying up for it. Just a tiny little bit I paid up. Um, but I'm glad I did because I listed it and then it sold within like the next half an hour for $44. Um, I would say this is a Bolo brand. It's got pretty good interest on it. And then after that is a pair of Mother Denim, which is probably my favorite denim brand to find. It sells super well. This is a pair of size 27 high-waisted liquor jeans in Model Spy, which is black. And they were just these stretch skinny jeans. They were actually like an older pair because I don't think Revolve had sold them for at least six years. Anyways, um, they were a same day sale and for $30. So that was a good return. Ooh, next up is one of my favorite sales. This is a Fjallraven, which um, if you're not familiar with, is a Swedish brand that often sells backpacks. Um, their clothing is also super expensive. So this is a Fjallraven men's medium keb fleece vest, and it's like a brown taupe color. Um, I think the medium, like majority of the sizes were sold out on their website, and it's really hard to find. Like I barely found any for like um, the resale market. So I priced high on this. Um, I think I originally priced it at $99.48. Um, and offered to watchers on eBay for this for $74.48. Somebody eventually accepted. Um, I do the automatically send offers option now that they have. And somebody took it. And yeah, um, it's a $70 profit for me because Salvation Army only marked it at $5. So that is awesome. Erin Crafts Made in Ireland 100% Merino Wool Gray Long Knit Zip Cardigan. It was super heavy. I wouldn't consider it chunky just because of the shape. Um, and I sold this for $40. It went to a woman in the same city as me, which is awesome because it went right back where it came from. Um, not originally because it was made in Ireland. But um, Irish made sweaters do super well um norwegian icelandic irish um i would assume even scottish um those all sell very well and for good money obviously okay next was just like a really small sale and i don't remember if i picked this up at the goodwill bins like months ago but um it's just an under armor large loose black ribbed um quarter zip pullover i sold that for 15. not every sale has to be huge Next, I have a men's Marmot 650 fill goose down gray puffer full zip jacket. Um, I know puffer jackets are very in for women. Uh, I did not realize that it would sell so fast though. Um, within about an hour, it sold for $45. And I think um, I only paid maybe like six bucks max for this. Um, oh, the last few sales were from like December 1st. So again, on December 1st, I sold a pair of Levi's 559 31 by 30 relaxed straight jeans. Um, I've had these for a while. So I took an offer of 15 here. On December 2nd, I sold a pair of these really cool, and I didn't know that um, they made these, but vintage Torrid Platform Mary Jane shoes. Um, so I know like there's a lot of brands that sell these but I never realized that Tora did them. Um, I know that they are a sister brand to Hot Topic but I don't know if that was recently done. However um these are like really cool like um like goth or alternative. I even put e-girl in the title. Um they sold within half an hour for $49.48 and I do not think I paid more than like $10 for them so good pickup. Okay next up I have a new tag cabbie. It's um, this medium cream lace-up back cable knit sweater style. I think I showed this in the haul um, I posted. Um, anyways, I sold it for $26.48. I don't really get a lot for cabbie, but it is a pretty solid turnover for me. Next on, and that was from December 3rd, so we're on the 3rd now. 
This is a Prana Angelica Duster sweater. Um, it was a size large. It was this long little button cardigan. This style of sweater does pretty well on Poshmark and eBay, so I was pretty happy with that. I sold it for $35.48. Next, I sold a Levi's Women's Medium Black Drawstring Bomber hooded jacket. It was um kind of like a nylon material. I sold this for $34.50. And another of my favorite finds, a really cool um, vintage 1998 Cartoon Network Wacky Racing um, crossed with NASCAR, like this denim jacket. I'm pretty sure it was a woman's um, size small. It fit like it. I found it in the children's section of Salvation Army, though, so it was um, a shock to me. I think I only paid $5, and I sold it for $50. Um, I think that was a same day sale. If not, it was a next day sale. I had a lot of sales on December 5th, which is the last day um, I'm going to cover for the eBay sales. So I have a Roots Canada. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but this is like, it, it's just, it's, it's super popular here in Canada. Um, they make a lot of cozy, comfy attire, um, like loungewear, leisure, athleisure. And this is just a men's extra large marled black Sherpa fleece quarter zip. And it had like an American flag patch on it, um, which is interesting because Roots is Canadian, very Canadian. I sold this for $35 and everything else, but I'm so glad I went this time. Um, I found an Ibex and this is a bolo brand, huge bolo brand. Ibex men's 100% new wool Arlberg gray full zip vest. It was beautifully made um really difficult to find on the resale market i don't think ibex sells it anymore so i priced it pretty high i originally priced it at um 150 and i had an offer come in of about 60. i wasn't gonna sell it for that like some people were like oh just take it like just get it and go and i'm like no because i'm okay with waiting for the right buyer um and if i counter i'm not too upset if i lose the sale so eventually um i countered at like a hundred and then they came back with ninety dollars and forty eight cents and that is what I sold it for. So that was another like five dollar find a Salvation Army. So pretty pretty good flip. Next up, um I originally sold these in a lot of three. So I picked up like a three piece set of these new tags, Samantha Brown, and this is like a home shopping network brand. And it's um this uh Croco style luggage. Um, obviously fake crocodile and it's embossed and I, she, the buyer asked me if I could split it up and I said sure why not so I sold one of the larger pieces for $32 and I went to um, someone pretty close to me like a couple towns over so I was happy about that oh copper my corgi's here This is copper, my corgi. He, ooh, he's a little interesting. Um, we have done training and everything, but corgis can be <laughs> uh, very personality heavy. Um, he is a full Pembroke Welsh corgi. Um, he does have his tail. He doesn't really bite. He was not having it. Um, but yeah, he's a full Pembroke corgi. Uh, cardigans usually keep their tails, but my breeder keeps them automatically just because it's not really necessary anymore to dock them but he is so cute isn't he oh anyways that's why my ebay is called copper spines and he's just he's good when he wants to be good okay next up we have a vintage and okay i've had this for the last like two years i think i've had this for maybe for a year i think i've had this for a year yeah, a year and a month. And it's this vintage Brooks Brothers um, wool and leather Letterman varsity style jacket. And um, it had a few flaws with it. I think um, a couple tears on the inside lining. And I think when I originally um, when I originally bought it, I was like, okay, it's going to sell regardless. And I was sitting on it for like, oh, I don't know. Anyways, um, I figured I was going to sit on it for a while. Um, but it sold for $50, so that's great because I think I only paid 10 And I am okay with sitting on something like that because of the time and all that. Okay, next up. 
this is a really cool find. It's a Champion 2XL Auburn University, like, ugly Christmas sweater. It's got the snowman and, like, the Auburn University, like, graphic on it. I figured, you know, right time, right place. Um, I sold it for $39.48. Okay, next sale is a cool KUHL. This is a pretty good bolo brand. Um, I don't sell it immediately, usually, but it does sell within, like, a month of picking up. And it's this men's small blue, blue fleece pullover uh, quarter zip sweater, and it uh, sold for $24.50. Okay, next is also something I've been kind of sitting on, but I'm glad it's gone. I have this St. John collection by Murray Gray. Um, St. John is not the same as St. John's Bay. Uh, St. John is a higher-end luxury designer label. I find a lot of their vintage pieces, and I'm pretty sure this was vintage just based off the tag. Um, it's this sweater pants set, and I don't know if it's the Santana knit that they're known for, but I held on to this for a while, and um, eventually had a buyer come in, and I offered her $54.48, and she took it. So I am glad that's gone. Next up, I have a Kalia, which is Carrie Underwood's brand of um, athletic wear. It's this really pretty, like, light blue jacquard 7-8 um, crop leggings. Um, these are a pretty fast sale. So I sold these for $30. My weekly eBay sales, I grossed $1,023.42. So now I will go on to Poshmark and I had a total of $218.96 after fees. So um, I obviously don't sell super often on there, but anyways. On November 29th, I sold a pair of Nike Pro Hyper Warm Gray Leggings. Um, they're pretty basic and I just kind of wanted them to go. I made $13.60 on these. Next up, I think was a next day sale for me. Like as soon as I put them up, um, I got an offer in the next morning. It's this John Varvatos uh, Star USA, which I think is like a trendier, more like a younger demographic that he ended up going towards with the Star USA label and I it's this um black camo zip hoodie and I made $32 on it so that is great okay my favorite Poshmark sale in a while it is this mod cloth B and dot beacon or charm dress that was featured on new girl worn by Zoe de Chanel um I was super happy to find this I was like okay well I, I know this is gonna get some interest here and I think it's sold within like a day if not the same day and it sold for um, $60 and I made $45.88. Okay next up I have a Torrid size 1 black rib lace-up tank bodycon dress. Um, I don't think I paid a lot for this so I made $24 on it. This pair of Athleta um, size large salutation print leggings. They were a 7 8 crop. I did pretty well with um, Athleta leggings. I made $23.48. Okay, next up, I have a full price sale, thankfully. This is a Barefoot Dreams large slash extra large cozy chic light calypso wrap. I found this at Salvation Army. I think I only paid like eight bucks for it, um, but I made 48 on it. And then finally to wrap up the Poshmark sale, I sold a 1990s Patagonia nylon fleece line bomber jacket. Um, this was a men's style. Um, this took a while to sell. It um, sold for 40 and I made 32. And then finally we have Mercari. I only sold one thing. A, um, actually the day I found this, um, it's a Marvin Richards like vintage leopard faux fur coat. Um, the day I found this earlier, I was like on Instagram and um, Ryan, uh, like from like Ryan's for Fines, um, him and his partner Jack are on YouTube and um, I checked out his Instagram stories like the morning I found this and he was like, is anyone like I saw like this like leopard or cheetah print um, coat on a, like a blogger and I wanted it and now I need one. And I'm like, okay, I need to get on this. So I ended up finding one out Salvation Army that same day. I paid like $15 for it, but um, it sold like within like a day or two. Um, sold for $60 and Mercari gave me $51.96. That was my really solid sales week for being part-time. Um, again, it, like, I'm not putting in full-time hours. 
I was, I would probably make note of it. And I'm, my eBay total, $1,023.42. Poshmark total, $218.96. Mercari was $51.96. So if I did my math right, that comes out to about $1,294.34. I um did recently send some things into the real real to consign and I had one sale, but um, I'm, wait I'm waiting on a payout. So I'm not gonna consider that until I um, have the payout on, I think they do on the 15th of every month. But yeah, the, you saw copper and you got to learn like um what I picked up on um, most of the price points. And I highly recommend eBay, like out of everything, like you can have like a really good um following on Poshmark, but I just feel like eBay caters to pretty much everyone. And I do find like, majority of the people I do sell to are probably a little bit of like an older audience, but they're consistent. Like eBay is just consistent for me. I know it uh, intimidates people, but I'd be crazy to not sell there. Um, my Instagram, I'm still trying to get in the works here. So that was about it. And hopefully I will be back soon. Bye-bye.